What is going on guys? Welcome to your 61st tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be going over the curve editor. So go ahead and open up matinee and if you don't see the curve editor already you can do so in a couple ways. If you go to window, unreal curve editor or you can go ahead and hit this toggle curve editor button it's going to bring up your curve editor. Now by default we need to tell the UDK which track we want to graph. So if we go ahead and select the track in the lower right hand corner we're going to see a black box. Go ahead and click that box and it's going to go ahead and graph those curves for that track. Now if your view is kind of messed up like that go ahead and just hit this button fit view to all and it's going to make your curves appear nicely in the screen. So let me explain to you guys what the curve editor is. Your curve editor is basically graphing the movement of your curves like on a sheet of graph paper where left to right this axis along the bottom symbolizes the time so this is zero seconds one second fifty two and a half seconds right there and this up and down this negative fifty negative hundred symbolizes the distance so the reason we're only getting one graph is because our model is only changing on one axis so let me go ahead and make this more apparent by unchecking these if you go ahead and select this first one you can see that it's graphing the red or X movement of this door so this R G and B blocks B box excuse me graphs the X Y and Z movement of this model so if we go ahead and take a look at the X movement which is the left to right movement of our door check it out whenever we play our animation this door is not moving left to right at all so that's why we get a keyframe right here and a keyframe right here no change whatsoever if you go ahead and take a look at the Y which is forward down the hallway and backward towards me our door is not moving in either of those directions so that's why we get zero change in Y however if we take a look at Z which is up and down that's what direction our door is moving so as you can see it starts at location zero zero and by the end of three seconds it's about at negative two hundred and forty at about a second and a half it's about negative one twenty so as you can see we can visually graph the movement of our door so again one last time this R G and B in other words red green and blue value line up with this X Y and Z axes of your door so since we're only going to be working with a Z or blue we can only go ahead and graph that so we don't accidentally grab any other keyframes. Now let me talk to you guys about the different types of graphs. This graph right here, if you hover over it, is called curve auto clamp. It's kind of like the default curve because it gives you a nice acceleration. Again, I said that if something's graphed and it has no change, then it's going to be graphed all on the same line. If it's straight up and down, then it means it's moving really fast. So this door is going to start out kind of slow and then right about here it speeds up a lot and then by the end as you can see it kinda of slows down so this is a natural looking graph because whenever you're driving a car or something you don't go from zero to sixty in zero seconds you kinda of need to speed up there get up to speed and then when you you know are kinda of accelerating fast and you need to slow down you slow down gradually you just don't hit a brick wall so this is kind of a natural acceleration if you do want a constant speed throughout you can go ahead and select one of these keyframes and hit linear graph and now your graph is going to be linear a constant speed again I really don't like to use this in you know maybe in some rare cases but you typically want to use this curve auto clamped now you can also see right next to your keyframes you have this little white box right here if you go ahead and grab this you can manually adjust your curve as well so now what this is doing is I made something called an overshoot since this graph or the basic movement of my door is going from 0 to 300 so whenever I bring that curve above that check out what happens it kinda starts out at 0 and then it kinda loads up changes in the positive distance so it kinda goes up before coming back down so that's called overshooting um, maybe if you want to you know make a gun load up or someone punching and they you know pull their fist back then this is a good way to do that but typically you want to work with either curve auto clamped or just auto 
or maybe you know linear um this constant has straight left and right or straight up and down um, again it all depends on what you're looking for so that's basically the different types of curves and also if you drag these little white things and by the way these white things right here these white boxes are called bezier handles so if you ever hear me talking about bezier handles like grab your bezier handle that's what I'm talking about this little white box right here it means manually adjusting your curve so that's basically all there is to teach on the uh, curve editor I don't think I'm missing anything so well if I am I guess I'll talk to you guys about it in the upcoming tutorial but for now you guys now how need okay how can I say this you guys now know how to use the curve editor so congratulations so uh, for now thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video